I always want to start by reminding you guys I am not a licensed cosmetologist and what works for me may not necessarily work for you, but I'm happy to share because I'm loving the results of my journey so far. So let's start with the month of August. Uh, the products I was using during this month include the St. Ives Apricot Face Scrub and I was using that twice a day, in the, once in the morning and once at night. And then I was also using some stuff uh, prescribed by my dermatologist. I, I didn't see much results. Now moving forward to September, um, you can notice I'm getting more pimples and the thing is my face is the left side, sorry the right side has always been worse than the right side. And to be honest with you, like I don't really have, the thing is I don't really have, you know, like deep cystic acne. It's just that the bumps I get always leave marks. So that was my biggest issue. So moving over to November, I started getting really fed up and I finally went to the spa and I got a face peel, but I didn't really see much results. Like overall my face was brighter, but not much results. All right, so moving towards December, I decided to experiment with some essential oils and eyelashes as you can see. I just paused on my right side just so you can see a little bit of progress and it's starting to do something for me. So January, moving forward to February, um, that's when I started to see some huge results on my skin. Of course, I'm still having those little pimple breakouts, but um, they don't stay on my face as long as they used to and uh, the old hyperpigmentation marks are starting to fade. So if we look at February now, I mean, it's nowhere near perfect, but it's definitely some progress in my journey. I'm sure if I were to just do simple things in terms of changing my diet, that would make a huge difference as well, but my routine has come a long way. So what causes acne and hyperpigmentation anyway? Acne can be caused by, you know, oil and dirt clogging in the pores, irritation, hormonal changes, diet, stress, and dairy foods. And hyperpigmentation can be caused by, of course, acne scars, sun exposure, heredity, hormonal changes, and irritation. So in terms of switching up my routine, I decided to incorporate a few things that would eliminate acne. Focusing more on the irritation aspect, so rubs, scratches, and prolonged contact. Now for the best part, my skin routine. So, as my cleanser, I use a Veen a Cleanance Gel, and that's the one that's in the half-empty bottle. I also use Unscented Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera as a toner, along with lemon oil. That's not in this picture. It's the most important one. I don't know why I don't have it there. And I use tea tree oil as a spot treatment, as well as vitamin E oil as a moisturizer. So you can see I use a lot of oils. I also included the Biacna. Uh, it was prescribed by my dermatologist. I don't use it anymore, but I was using it up until January, so I thought it necessary to just include it in that picture. So let's start by washing my face. If you notice, I'm doing this upward motion. I'm barely touching my face, not just because I'm demonstrating, but that's literally how I put the water on my face. I barely want to touch my face. My hands are barely making contact with my face. So after my face is soaked with water, I take some of my, um, my soap, I guess, and I just put that in my hand. I squeeze it out in my hand, and I just rub my face hands together just to make it soapy. So I want it to start foaming up before I apply it to my face and trust me this makes a huge difference so I do that for like a minute or half a minute and I just kind of, I'm not really rubbing my face, I'm mostly just patting on the soap on my face because I want to barely rub my skin to cause, to, well to avoid causing irritation, right? So I'm barely, just very soft touches, I'm just patting them on my face. Patting the soap on my face. So yeah, I'm going to rinse my face the same way that I had, uh, you know, soaked it with water initially. And once it's a bit dry, I'm going to use my toner. So for my toner, I use lemon oil. And I'm also going to use a cotton pad. And you, don't, you want to make sure you get one of those really good expensive cotton pads because you don't want all of the fuzz to be 
coming off on your face, getting in your eyes and stuff. So I'm using the Witch Hazel to dilute the Blumen Oil. And excuse me because my camera was not recording when I was actually doing this to my face, so I'm just demonstrating how I pat it on my face. Like I said, no rubbing on my face anymore. All I do is pat. So I let that dry, and I'm not gonna lie, it does burn a little bit. But once that's done, I apply Vitamin E oil to my face. That soothes my face and I mostly start with putting it under my eyes and around my mouth especially in the winter time because around my mouth gets really dry and I just pat the vitamin E oil a little bit all over my face you don't need to do this too much because a little goes a long way so I'm gonna use the tea tree oil and now I'm just gonna use that like I mentioned I use this as a spot treatment and this will dry up those young pimples about to hatch trust me I had a few coming up and I'm like they need to go so this will work if not um, by the next day they're gone it'll be at least by the end of the week I promise you so anyways it does stink it's really strong but whatever it all works and that's what I've been doing so far so I hope you enjoy